Hello and welcome to another difficulty check. So this game is another roguelite game, which means it starts off difficult, but slowly gets easier as you unlock more and more upgrades. And after playing the first area about 10 times before beating it, I can say it's actually a pretty challenging game. Which I mean, again, it's a roguelike, so that's kind of part of the deal. Uh, it can take a while to get used to the look, but uh, it definitely plays like pretty much any other action dungeon crawling game. I wouldn't say this game is all that hard though. Most of my deaths kind of came from just not knowing the enemy's move set, but once I learned it, it was actually pretty easy to dodge and get my hits in. Once I learned the first area's enemy's move sets, the only time I really died after that was if there's like a weird combination of enemies and they kind of ganged up on me, or there's just a lot of enemies. Like in the second area, there are these demon girls that shoot these hearts at you. They're very slow moving, so they're kind of somewhat easy to dodge. But uh, if you added in these little pencil goblins that dashed at you, that's when I had a hard time. That that combination of enemies always got me. Um, I I feel like I probably died to that more than anything. And I don't think I ever really passed that room more than once if it popped up. I guess I should have checked a little bit better, but I don't believe the roll in this game has any invincibility frames. So it's not going to be super overpowered. But uh, yeah, I kind of like that it doesn't. It makes it a bit more tactical to use rather than just spamming it to not get hit by things. Because there is no stamina, I don't believe. So I'm going to guess it doesn't have any in invincibility frames. Because if it did, that would just be overpowered. But I like the roll a lot. Now, I only fought one boss, so maybe it changes later. But uh, the first boss you kind of telegraphed really hard. He knew exactly what he was going to do, when he was going to do it, and how long he was going to do it. I'm kind of hoping that maybe he was just a tutorial boss. So, of course, he gets like all the crazy telegraphs to kind of show you how to fight bosses. And then later, it gets super hard, but as of right now, that, that was the first boss. Just heavily telegraphed. I actually found myself having more trouble with the actual dungeon floors than him. It took me two tries to beat him, only because the first time I fought him I got distracted and got hit by something and died, because I was really low from the other floors. But besides that, still a fun fight. In the second area there are these little mini bosses you can spawn. You get to choose which one you spawn out of the three. There might be more than that, but I'm pretty sure I saw three. Those ones can actually be pretty tough. Definitely harder than that first boss. I think there's a slime guy that just spawns little slimes like crazy. He's probably the hardest for me. I think I fought the other chick. She was a mini boss version of the heart demon ladies. I feel like she's pretty tough. I can't remember fighting her too much. Then there's like a big Frankenstein guy who just kind of has brute force from what I remember. So yeah, I uh recently loaded up real quick just to be double sure about some things and that slime guy whooped me real fast he just kept spawning stuff and I couldn't grab things quick enough and yeah I just died straight up my favorite skills from what I could tell was the one that made your items you hold bigger it I don't know if it does but it felt like my reach was more like I had more reach when I was using the big weapon skill and then the other one was the boxing glove skill, which automatically gives your punches more damage because I know sometimes I just can't get to an item quick enough in a room. And it felt better to have that fist damage just in case I couldn't reach that item. But yeah, for 20 bucks, I think it is. I would say just grab it if you're looking for a challenge. That won't like make you burst a blood vessel, but it still gives you that feeling of accomplishment whenever you beat a difficult room or boss. Because I know I felt that way after beating that first dungeon. It took me 10 runs to do it. But once I got to that boss, whooped him, I moved on to the second area, and same thing happened. 
died a bunch. But I had fun doing it. That's all that matters. Thanks for watching this difficulty check for going under.